Welcome back to another Battle Wagon adventure. I have got a nice box of Battle Wagon parts in and I'm gonna try to install at least some of them. First and undoubtedly most importantly, I have this, which is a red box, not to be confused with red box. I'm gonna find out if I even have space to mount this under the hood. This is the Pile Plus speaker. I got it on Amazon. I think it was seven or eight dollars. It's reasonably small. The whole intent with getting this is to hook it up and do some things that require a plastic trumpet. Now let's see if we can mount it and have space. Looks like it fits to me. Now on the other side of things, I just gotta hook up what powers it and we'll be good to go. And now to power that speaker, we have this uh, Unidin, Unite, Unite in. Uni anyway. Pro 5005 XL Sibla Radio. The low end PA systems are actually shittier than just buying a $30 CB radio and then a $5 speaker. It's the same price and supposedly these work better. So let's power that bitch. The United Airlines stereo comes with two smaller boxes. That one's a little walkie talkie and then this here doodad, which is of course two wires. Also hopefully a radio, yep. And a radio below it. Oh. Crisis averted. That's actually pretty compact. I was worried about the size of this thing, if it was gonna be too big to mount anywhere inconspicuously, but it's um, it's not too bad. Let's give it a go. Having never done one of these before, I'm assuming that's a reasonable size for it. It's got a little PA thing, PA speaker input. It's got an external speaker. I think it's an external speaker that I'm not gonna be using. It's got a big ass antenna that I'm also not gonna be using yet. And some buttons and Conveniently, it turns out the crystal meth slash heroin holder might. All right, that uh, that doesn't fit. Never mind. And also doesn't go there. I am uh, I'm striking out on this one. And I just put it. Is that obvious? Is it obvious if I do that? I might just do that. Ignoring the fact that it suddenly got dark and that my interior is entirely torn up now. I've decided after ripping off everything in the center console that the CB radio, while it is very compact, it's actually too small to comfortably fit in the DIN slot. So there was gonna be about a uh, inch and a half, two inch gap on one side. On the other hand, it's just tall enough that with a bracket, if I put it over here by my legs, there was too much of a risk of me smacking it with my knee, especially with the little radio thing hanging off of it. I also didn't wanna put it down here. I didn't wanna put it in the footwell because uh, especially in the winter months, I'm worried about it getting covered in snow and getting destroyed that way. Bolting it directly into the dash looks freaking stupid. It was too big to put there. It's too big to put in this center console. What I've decided to do is leave it here in the glove box. I've already routed the cabling behind. It's all plugged in. I connected the power cords to this plug right now because this is not gonna be in permanent use. Now, without further ado, Let's give this thing a test run, shall we? I am profusely worried that with nothing plugged in, something's gonna break on this car, but that's fine. Okay, let's just hope this turns on. Oh, we're halfway there. Test. Oh, it works. Oh, this is dangerous. Attention. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be interesting. For posterity's sake, let's do an outside volume check. I'll turn it all the way up. I'm not expecting it to be that loud, but you never know. It's only a $7 speaker. It's a little cheap one. Oh fuck, there was people right behind me when I said that. <laughs> oh well. In a surprise turn of events, it worked perfectly on the first time. Definitely get a little bit of the buzzing noise. Definitely a cheap speaker, but um, not a huge deal really. And no, I didn't actually leave this thing just sitting open in the engine bay. What I did instead is I punched a hole in it using a utility knife and then just zip tied it to a bunch of things around. There was no good place to put it where I was comfortable. It wouldn't be exposed to heat. So instead what I said is, yeah, I'll just leave it zip tied out of the way so that if I do need to remove it, rather than unbolting the thing, 
This is a really cheap flimsy frame on it. Even just trying to zip tie it, I ended up bending it. I didn't want to do anything that was putting force against it. I figured zip ties I can just cut off if it gets in my way for any reason. It'll be that way very easy and quick to not only get it out of the way, but to reinstall it after. And I don't have to worry about dropping bolts through to the floor, which I managed to do every time. There you have it, another battle wagon project is complete. And per usual, it is impeccable and has, of course, only practical purposes. In the meantime, I am going to not drive this car until I put it back together. It's already getting dark. I need a drink after today's work day. I'm going back inside. And this concludes another flawless execution of a battle wagon project. Thank you for watching. Fuck is that? Look at this, it's like half a bird on my car. What? So this is the... Oh, shut up, you pro.